So this is the Notion setup that I've been using for the first two years of university. And I think this is the ultimate Notion setup for students. My name is John, I'm a third year medical student and this is the Notion template that I've been using throughout my first two years of university and it's made studying so much more enjoyable and productive. And I've left a link in the description where you can download this exact template and populate it and change it however you like to make it your own. So I'm now going to get very small and round. Let's get into this. So here is my Notion. Welcome. This feels like my home. I hope you've taken your shoes off. I like to use Notion as a spreadsheet. Um, because everything is just right in front of you. Because Notion is a web-based app, if you have the pages inside of pages format, which a lot of people use, it can get a little bit slow because you have to go through more menus. You have to wait for the menu to load. You have to go through another menu. So what I do is I have this spreadsheet system where all my lectures are running down the left-hand side. So say I want to go over physiology and pharmacology of pain. I open that. It's gone into peak view. So let's change that to center peak. I can make it full screen here, I can split screen it. And then within this, I have my lecture. So let's full screen that. And then I, I use the question and answer system. So I have a toggle and inside I have the text red, which is the answer. And that just allows it to pop. And if I press command A, that selects everything and I can just open one toggle. And there we go, everything else is opened. And I can close them and they all close. So now we're back home. I'll quickly show you the pages and pages format. So as you can see, you've got all your units here or modules or whatever. And then within that, you have different pages, say anatomy. And then within that, you have the actual page. So it's lots of different clicks to get through just one thing. So what I like to do is I just like to have everything right in front of me. If I want to go over one thing, I just click it, bang, it's open. So you might be thinking, well, if you have multiple pages, where do you put them? Well, I just like to use everything along this sidebar. So if I want a new page, I'll just add one. I think it just makes things a bit more visual and a bit quicker. So I just quickly open and close it by pressing command backslash like that. So let's go through this systematically. So this top part, I call it the scribble zone. So any information that you want to get down really quickly, you just go up here. So it's the scribble zone. Welcome to my notion. Cool. And you can put quotes here. You can put um, motivational things if you'd like. I don't know. That's not really my thing. You can put important information like I have just some rant, something random I need to get down quickly. Yeah. So like I said before, the basic structure for this is lectures along the left hand side. And then you have different columns for different parameters uh, which you can populate. So let's go through each parameter. So I have subject here and I've created a list of different subjects that come up very frequently so physiology anatomy biochemistry pathology whatever so you can fill these in with whatever you like i tend to organize it by subject because each subject i assign an emoji so as you can see all the pbl this is problem-based learning i have like an inquisitive face biochemistry will have a strand of dna pathology will have a, a skull and i just think it looks nicer because you know all the emojis are kept together i think it's just a bit more aesthetic and then we have units so this could be in your university or your course, it could be modules, it could be whichever way that your university organizes things, but our uni does it in units. So yeah, you can change the, the colors of these, same with the subject, you can change the colors of these by clicking the three dots, and then you can just populate it however you like. Lecturer, I've left that blank just for their privacy really. And then you have the check mark. You can use this in a number of different ways. Have you finished actually writing the lecture? Have you finished revising the lecture? It's completely up to you. So this is just a checkbox, tick or no tick. And that's quite relevant. We'll talk about that later and all these different parameters because they all tie in back with each other. And then your current score in terms of revising it. So I've just populated some random things. So I went over it. It was OK. Neoplasia. That was good. And then you can fill this in with dates for your last active recall. So AR is active recall. So say my last active recall for this was on this day. This was this day. I'm just populating random dates. And then you can set your next active recall. And these all link in with your calendar and can send you reminders for when you need to next recall it so I've just populated some random dates here and we'll talk about this later because it's very cool what you can do with this and then previous history this is just a text box to add any text or any notes that you want to add okay so you might be thinking this is a bit complicated how do you actually populate all of this stuff well I'll show you so say I've got a new lecture say the lecture is blood volume regulation so I know I've already got it here but just for the example's sake what I do is I'd create a new page so right to the very bottom click this click away and then I'll go on open 
So this is opened in a split screen now. If I want to change that, I can go here and I can go to center peak and then say that, so this is called blood volume regulation. Because this is the first time I'm doing this lecture, the only things I'm going to fill in are the subjects. So I know that this is physiology, uh, the unit, this is going to be unit 10 and the lecturer's name, Mr. X. And then all of this stuff you can then populate after, like when you're revising. So when did I last go over it? What's my score? When's the next time I should go over it? Blah, blah, blah. And then you would just add your toggles as normal. Um, what is X? And then you would populate uh, this is this. And I can just press Command A, Command Shift H, and that changes the color. There we go. And there you go. And you would just keep doing that. You press Enter, new toggle comes up and you just populate it that way. So it's very, very straightforward. Now, one of my favorite things about using this spreadsheet format is the fact that you can use filters. But before we get onto the filters, just make sure that you're subscribed and you've liked the video. It helps me out a lot. Okay, back to the filters. I can go up to the top right here and you see this filter button, I'll click that. And I can filter this whole spreadsheet by whatever I like. So say my university's just said, okay, you've got an exam next week on unit 10. What I'll do is I'll be like, okay, well, so what lectures are in unit 10? Let me comb through this and just pick them out and then write them down and go through one by one. You don't have to do that. I go on my filter, I go on unit, and this will then switch. It will go up here into the top left and I'll go to unit 10. Bang, all of my unit 10 lectures are just listed. So as long as you have this populated with all the content, you're not going to miss anything. Everything's right in front of you. And now what you can do is say you want to go through this systematically one by one. As you finish them, you can just tick it off. You can change the score. OK, I did well on that. Finish this. Yeah, I did OK on that. And you can fill in the dates for the next time you want to go over it, etc. So it's really, really powerful and really, really efficient. But what if the exam is on unit nine and unit 10? So what I can do is I can click here and I can check unit nine. And then I have all my unit nine and all my unit 10 lectures. And you can press this sort button uh, to sort it by unit, but I don't tend to use that very often. And this filter works for everything. So I can filter by uh, lecturer, I can filter by subject, I can filter by which lectures are finished, with which lectures aren't finished. So it's really powerful. The last thing that I think is probably one of the coolest things about this format are the views. So we have different views up here. So you can see this currently is the master view. This is like the default view and day to day life. This is how I would use it. It would be looking like this, but say it's exam season. I've got an exam soon and I really want to optimize how I'm studying. So I, I want to target the stuff I'm not very good at. So I'll click on the lecture score view and you'll see here it stacks them as cards. So the lectures I can just quickly open and access here. Say I go over this particular PBL diabetes and chronic kidney disease. And I think I've done really well on it. I'm happy with it. I can just shift it over. And then you start to see the pile getting smaller and smaller. This did bad, but I went over this. It was okay. This one moves to good. So it's a really visual way of seeing what you've actually got to do. Okay, my favorite view, the next AR view. Admittedly, I don't use this enough, but this is extremely cool. We'll go back to my master view really quick. I've set some random dates for the next time that I want to go over these lectures. I had a few more into cancer cell biology too. I want to go over that here, this, I want to go over here, this. Here. Now, if I go over my next AR view, it's going to show me on a calendar when I need to go over these lectures. So today is the 30th. On this day, I need to go over this. On this day, I need to go over this. On this day, I need to go over this, blah, 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 blah. And this can link with your actual calendar. So it'll give you reminders of when you need to go over them. So if I now go back to my master view and I click on any of the dates of next AR, I can remind myself how like whatever date I need and I can just change all of these parameters. So it's very, very powerful. Gives you a nice visual way of organizing your calendar with what you have to do. So yeah, that basically wraps it up. That is how I use Notion to study at med school. It got me through the last two years perfectly fine. And people are always very, very impressed when I whack this open. Like, oh, how did you do that? But yeah. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. The link for this template will be in the description. So download it, populate it, do what you like. Drop me any suggestions you'd like in the comments and I'll try to get around to filming them. Uh, hopefully this helps and I'll see you all very, very soon. Peace.